Well, hello everyone, it's Anita Fairy Dust Nails, and today I'm going to show you how to do an elf step by step. So the nail is now cured, and I'm just wiping the sticky layer so that it's a nice smooth surface. And I'm going to try something different today. I have mixed some of those tiny little polka dot shreds into clear acrylic and I'm going to try and build the hat with this. So let's start. We're just going to give it a bit of time to set a little bit. And I'm just adding because I want the little point that comes down from the hat kind of uh, a little bit bigger. Pressing it down and now I'm going to shape it. You will be able to see. I'm going to drag it down and do like a little point on the end because we are going to still put on a tassel. I'm just going to take a little bit more. With this tiny little 3D brush that I'm using, uh, I can get a lot of thin sections done with the acrylic. And you just dip into your monomer and shape. Sorry, I've just corrected the, the camera. And now we're going to make the fold that's also going to be on the head. I'm just adding bit by bit. Because it is a bit more difficult to work with an acrylic that has actually got the glitter in it. Just pressing it down a little bit. Forming the second fold on this hat. Pressing it down on the side where it actually touches the other edge of the hat the one that's going to have the tassel on so this side I press down and make it like it's got a little bit of a groove and now I'm just going to shape it more round just use the, the edge of your 3d brush you know the point and just shape it like that good and now we're going to do the last one, the bigger one that's going to fit here. Okay, and now we're just going to do the same. You're just going to leave a little space there for the tussle. Going to do exactly the same. Drag it there so that it forms that little bit of an edge. Push back. Then now the last one, I think. Because his hat is actually sitting on his head at an angle. So
just cleaning the brush making sure that I build that little edge there push it down and shape it there's enough space there for the actual tassel at the end of his hat I'm just bracing down to get it as smooth as possible and make sure that we've got that little fold for his hat. Now the magic part starts as well now because that is like a nice glittery dotty hat. Now I've just got the white ready. So what we're going to do is start with a bead put it down wait for it to polymerize And then I'm just going to start shaping it to the tip of the nail. So that it's got a bit of a groove. So that it looks like the tip of his beard. You see I'm pressing a little bit harder there so that I get this bit of a, a split on the actual bead that I've put down. Now I'm going in with another bead. Putting it on the side of the nail. And doing the same. Just pressing with the gel brush so that I get those little edges on the acrylic. Very sharp point. Make sure that you use your brush's point to do the shaping. Taking another small bead. Putting it here on the other side. This is actually just a thing that takes a bit of time, but it's okay. See, I just drag so that it makes those little edges. Take another little bead. I'm just bleeding it so that it's a bit dry. Sharpening my brush so that I can actually drag it down. This one I'm going to take to the side and that one to the middle. You see, you just carry on like that until you're happy with the beard. Now you've actually got the beard done by just carrying on the way that I've showed you. 
and then we take a cover pink acrylic I'm just going to check out which one we are going to use I'm going to use the glitter bells one it's the plush cover and now I'm going to change my brush because now we are going to make a nice big fat nose So now I'm dipping into my monomer, wipe off on the one side and take my brush and shake a nice big blob and I'm going to place it down right there. And we're just going to leave it, make sure that it goes under the hat. Just press down on the acrylic a little bit. The rest you leave. So that it makes this nice round ball. We'll just make two little nostrils. With a sharp edge of the brush, just point your brush a little bit. And that is what we do. Now that is the nose done. That is the beard done. That is the hat done. Now we just need to put a nice big tassel there. I think um, a blue one would look great. I'm trying to do any everything like non-traditional. Um, let's just see what color we're going to put there. 